In the gigantic expanses of the universe, the most incredible spectacles take place again and again. Whether it's enchanting shooting stars, collisions between two celestial bodies, or dazzlingly bright stellar deaths, a quick glance at the natural phenomena in space is enough to convince you of the exuberant diversity of our galactic home. While experts have been able to document many of these breathtaking processes in the past and decipher them in retrospect, new types of events are also being located in space, some of which initially pose a great mystery to terrestrial researchers. One of the most remarkable astronomical discoveries of recent times is undoubtedly the radiantly bright Kilonova. Find out in today's video what this incomparable process is all about in more detail and what astonishing accompanying effects are involved. Want to join us on our galactic journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to Simply Space and activate the bell to never miss one of our videos again. Feel free to show us that you like the topics of our posts with a thumbs up. Supernovae When Stars Die When a massive star reaches the end of its natural lifespan and subsequently annihilates itself in a glittering bright explosion, this stunning event is known among experts as a supernova. Specifically, the luminosity of the celestial body intensifies by millions or even billions of times its original value so that the star briefly appears as bright as an entire galaxy. Simultaneously, with this inimitable brightness in the course of a supernova is the release of imposing energy masses indicated in the unit of measurement called a foe. An example of this classification the energy our Sun would release with constant luminosity over its entire lifespan is quantified at approximately 1.2 Fo. The energy that develops during a supernova amounts to approximately 1 Fo. However, the corresponding energy is not emitted over a period of many billions of years, but within a few seconds. Currently, two basic mechanisms are known to experts that cause stars to supernova. On the one hand, this happens to particularly massive stars, which have an initial mass of more than eight solar masses. When the star's own supply of nuclear fuel is exhausted, the core of the celestial body finally begins to collapse. At the end of these so-called hydrodynamic supernovae, compact objects such as black holes or neutron stars can be formed. But even those sparkling celestial bodies that have less intrinsic mass than their imposing counterparts can become supernovae. These are stars that accrete surrounding material in their white dwarf stage. Within astronomy, accretion describes a process in which a cosmic entity collects matter due to its gravitational or tidal forces. As a result, the corresponding stars begin to collapse. The carbon burning that occurs ultimately causes the dying star to be literally torn apart. Such a form of stellar death is called thermonuclear supernova by experts. So, we can say without hesitation that supernovae are among the most spectacular and breathtaking processes known in the universe. The gigantic forces that are released in the process show us once again what the primordial background of the phenomena in the universe really is. Compared with that incomparable event that experts registered some months ago, however, even the energy eruptions of the most powerful supernova seem comparatively weak. Breathtaking Kilonova It was May 22nd of last year when experts recorded an unforeseen event. This sensational event was a huge gamma-ray burst in space, which immediately caused terrestrial scientists intense excitement. Basically, experts assume that such intense gamma-ray emissions are due to collisions of neutron stars. In order to find out the exact background of this impressive phenomenon, researchers immediately began to intensify their investigations. Over the course of their observations, however, the experts discovered something that they had not expected. The detected gamma-ray burst showed 10 times more infrared light than the scientists' calculations had predicted. Since this unusual feature was not consistent with previous observations of a similar nature, the experts already suspected that they had witnessed a unique event. To get as holistic a picture as possible of this fascinating phenomenon, 
astronomers used a variety of terrestrial research facilities. These included NASA's Swift Observatory, the Very Large Array in the U.S. state of New Mexico, and the Keck Observatory in Hawaii. Typically, the highly complex equipment used by the experts observes infrared emissions in space that are produced during the formation of heavy elements such as uranium, gold, or platinum. The formation of these substances is often due to the collision of neutron stars. As already mentioned at the beginning, neutron stars are the super-dense remnants of exploded stars. If the collision of two neutron stars finally leads to a bright afterglow, experts speak of a so-called kilonova. To their own amazement, scientists found that the event recorded last year was accompanied by a much brighter infrared emission than researchers had ever expected. This striking circumstance ultimately suggests that a stunning new celestial body was created as part of the merger of the two neutron stars, a magnetar. Magnetars this class of celestial bodies describes a special form of neutron star that exhibits incomparably intense magnetic fields. More precisely, the intensity of a magnetar's magnetic field exceeds that of a usual neutron star by a thousand times. The current estimates of experts are that about 10% of all neutron stars are magnetars. If a neutron star has been formed following a supernova, it begins to rotate incredibly fast around its own axis immediately after the stellar collapse. If this rotation period of the celestial body is now less than 10 milliseconds, and its progenitor star possessed a comparatively strong magnetic field, a magnetar is born. In detail, a dynamo effect sets in, which converts the kinetic energy of the convection vortices into magnetic field energy. The bottom line is that an extreme magnetic field is formed in this way, so strong that it even changes the structure of the quantum vacuum. To understand how a magnetar is formed from a binary star system, it's worth looking at a representative of this class of celestial bodies, located in the star cluster Westerlin 1. Originally, the progenitor star had an intrinsic mass 40 times higher than that of the Sun. At the same time, this massive star orbited another glaringly bright celestial body at a fairly close distance. Eventually, the heavier of the two stars had exhausted its internal fuel, whereupon it inflated. As a result of this process, the outer layers of the heavy star were transferred to its lower mass counterpart, rotating faster and faster and eventually becoming the precursor of the later magnetar. The experts became aware of the magnetar when they encountered a relatively low mass and an intense luminosity with high velocities in the corresponding star cluster. This enormous velocity is typically expected after the recoil of a supernova. The chemical composition of the star, which has an unusually high amount of carbon in addition to nitrogen and hydrogen, is extremely unusual for such celestial bodies. Provided that the companion star has a sufficiently high intrinsic mass, it returns parts of its own material to its counterpart before it finally becomes a supernova. This exchange of matter, which takes place immediately before the death of the larger star, is a basic condition for the formation of a magnetar. In the course of this process, progenitor star loses the mass that would otherwise have transformed it into a black hole. The smaller companion is in turn literally hurled away by the force of the supernova. Characteristics of kilonovae To give us a general idea of the amazing properties of kilonovae, it's worth looking at the impressive accompanying phenomena of such processes. Basically, the merger of two neutron stars is fueled by electromagnetic radiation and radioactive decay of elements produced in the so-called R process particular process within nucleosynthesis. However, the brightness burst called kilonova occurs not only in the merger of two neutron stars, but also in the merger of a black hole with a neutron star. Basically, the lower mass neutron star is always destroyed by the tidal forces of its heavier counterpart. Subsequently, most of the matter of the destroyed celestial body is collected by the more massive counterpart in the course of its accretion. Within a few moments, the neutron-rich matter transforms into elements formed by the R process. Finally, the newly synthesized radioactive elements decay, and the radiation emitted in the process becomes visible in the form of a brightness burst lasting up to 10 days. Compared to a classical supernova, however, a kilonova appears somewhat fainter. In terms of energy released, however, kilonovae are the indisputed leaders. 
On average, they have a thousand times the value of a conventional supernova. A look at the gamma ray burst that was named GRB 170817A shows how the discovery of a kilonova can turn out in individual cases. In the summer of 2017, this spectacular event was registered by several institutions. Afterwards, the origin of the emission could be pinpointed in the galaxy NGC 4993. Ultimately, experts were able to observe the kilonova in the optical, ultraviolet, infrared, radio, and X-ray ranges. The color index changed from blue to red within a few days, and after seven days, the kilonova was emitting most of its electromagnetic radiation in the infrared range. The X-rays observed by the scientists seemed to come from the interaction between the circumstellar matter and the ejected ejecta. The gamma ray burst had emitted 95% of its energy in less than two seconds. Now it's up to you. What are your thoughts on the spectacular kilonovi? We're already looking forward to your comments. Would you like to see more exciting videos on the topic of outer space? Then click on one of the thumbnails in the credits to get to the other contributions on our channel. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.